my channel. My name is Renee. If you're new, today's video is kindly sponsored by iHerb. We're gonna do a chill little spring weekend in my life. iHerb, if you guys are not familiar with them, is basically your one-stop shop for all things health and wellness. They have products that range all the way from beauty to supplements to skincare to grocery. Pretty much they have it all at very discounted prices and it's the best value you can find. I'm gonna do a quick little iHerb beauty haul. I got some new spring fresh finds for this season. The first thing that I picked up are my daily probiotics. I actually ran out of these and you guys know I've been taking these for about a year now. They can be a little bit pricey. iHerb has them at a very discounted price. These are my favorite. I've done a ton of different research for supplements and this one seems to be the best in terms of a female probiotic. I really trust this brand. The Garden of Life brand is like number one for me in terms of supplements so I needed to restock on this to get that gut health nice and clean. I picked up the Laneige sleeping mask. So this is a cult classic. Um, it's basically like a lip mask. I got this one in Barry. I actually have this already and I'm so in love with it that I wanted one for my purse. So I'll have this ever with me. It's like a mask literally for your lips. It's great. So picked up one of these again, super discounted, which is amazing because this can be again, very pricey. And then I picked up some Dove exfoliating body polish. This is key for getting a good base for your tan. I always exfoliate my skin and Dove to me is the best like clean brand in terms of body care. I have been to many different dermatologists and they always recommend Dove. So this is nice. It smells like macadamia and rice milk. And then I picked up some more protein powder. You guys know, again, this is like a Renee like basic. I have been taking this, I couldn't even tell you how long I've been taking this for, but I always need to restock on this. So this is my protein powder that I take. I pretty much eat one of these, eat one of these. I drink one of these once a day, 20 grams of protein, tons of vitamins and greens and stuff. I picked up some CeraVe cleanser. I like to use very gentle, basic cleansers for everyday skincare. Picked up a restock of this. If you know anything about skincare, you know CeraVe is like, it's super affordable, super clean ingredients, and very, very gentle on your skin, especially if you have sensitive skin. I picked up the foaming one. I like it when it foams. I feel like it's doing more than if it doesn't. But it's also fragrance-free, which is something I really like. And then I picked up some hand cream. So I like to have one of these by my computer at all times. I tend to get dry on my fingers, especially my thumbs, and I have this really bad habit of like picking. It's really gross. This kind of just is a reminder to always put it on. And this one smells so good. This is coconut water and mimosa flower. So, so cute. Picked up some maple syrup. So you guys know I've been obsessed with matcha lattes and instead of adding refined sugar, I've been adding maple syrup and I've actually cut it down from two tablespoons to one tablespoon. Maple syrup is like the best natural sugar for your system, like the way we process and the benefits and stuff within the maple syrup over like agave, honey, all that stuff. So I love maple syrup. I love the flavor and I needed like a big old hefty amount because I go through it pretty quickly. Like I said, iHerb has the best discounts for all things beauty and health and wellness. There's a huge selection of products you can shop through. I will link all the ones here that I have in the description box as well as the iHerb website for you guys. If you do want to get a huge restock on things in your house, iHerb is where it's at. It's super, super affordable. They have pretty much all different products that range globally around the world. So it's not just American stuff. Like there's other products. There's like Korean skincare, which I, I've heard is amazing. Pretty much has it all. You know, you can't really go wrong. So huge shout out to them for sponsoring today's video. I'm actually going to go run and do some shopping. I want to get some new clothes for spring. I pretty much literally live in sweats ever since last year. I just need to get more like warm clothing stuff. I actually don't even own a pair of jean shorts anymore. We're gonna go do some shopping on 5th and then we'll do like a little spring clothing haul. All right guys, I just went to the like rooftop here. We don't really have a rooftop, but there's a little area where, I don't know, it's like an outside sitting area. And I took some pictures because I got ready for the first time and I'm actually wearing like spring attire. I haven't worn spring attire in so long, but yesterday it was like 60 degrees. We went for like a really long walk and it was so hot, like I was burning up. So I went out there like all excited. I have like a crop top on and it is freezing again. It went from like 60s to 40s. It's crazy. So I initially was wearing just like a simple shirt, but I got some pictures for Instagram. So now I'm gonna like actually head out and go shopping, but I threw on this like big teddy coat now so I can stay warm and then my hair actually believe it or not this is like my natural hair it's super curly right now but it's not like too frizzy which I'm like not even gonna touch it I was gonna straighten it but I'm like you know what 
Less heat the better, right? We're gonna go out. Let's go shopping. All right, guys, that was like a pain in the butt. I went there and found some things that I liked, and then I found out that their dressing room was closed, which is kind of annoying because I'm the kind of person that I need to like either see it on a person or try them on myself. And so I was trying really hard because I spent like an hour there searching for stuff and I found some things that I liked but I just needed to see it on. And instead of buying all the clothes there and not knowing and probably returning a bunch of stuff and like putting them in my house and stuff like that, I just felt like it would be better if I came here and looked online and saw like what it looked like on person. I tried to find like the tags and the barcode and try to figure it out that way because I know sometimes if you find clothes you can just search the barcode and it'll show you like on their website but that didn't happen so I was like darn it. So I had to put all this stuff back and I came back here and I'm just going to sit here and just do some shopping on my own. I threw on Sweet Magnolias. I haven't gone through the first season yet. It's kind of just like background noise at this point. So I'm going to sit here and do some online shopping and I'll show you guys at the end kind of like what I got. Alright guys, I'm still sitting here and it's dark now. I'm ordering these jeans. I got them in two sizes because I think I don't even know my size at this point. And then I I ordered like this knit crop as well as another crop tee. I literally couldn't find anything that I found in the store, which is so frustrating. Let me know, have you guys ever shopped on their site before? It is so freaking confusing. Like their interface, it's just all over the place. So I just sat here trying to figure that out. I typically like to take my time, like read the reviews and all that kind of stuff. Every time I put something in my cart, after like 30, 20 minutes, it would say, your cart expired. And then everything in my cart that I was adding would just disappear. So I had to like refine the pieces that I found, add them back. And then by the time I did that, it would just keep expiring. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> this is just not happening my way. In this city, it's so hard. Obviously because of the pandemic and stuff, like there's not a lot of options in terms of places that are even open. I personally don't feel comfortable going anywhere that's like super crowded. Even just going places in the city, you have to walk really, really far. It's like a day thing. Or you have to get an Uber, which count, like costs a lot of money back and forth. It's just like a whole process. Whereas in like other places, I would just drive and go to a mall and everything is in like one spot. A lot of the places here too are like very expensive out them there. Like, like designer kind of stuff. I think I'm just gonna like order just these few items. I'll do like a try on haul once they get here. I think they should be coming like in a few days actually, which is pretty cool. I was gonna do a spring haul, but that's my online shopping. That was just such a fail. <laughs> Sunday. Noah and I headed over to Starbucks. They have their new spring drinks, which I know everyone and their mother is trying right now. So I was like, I gotta hop on the bandwagon and try them out myself. So we went and ordered the tall ice. I don't even know how to read this. The difference is that they're shaken now. So it's like mixology. You're making a drink or something. So this is the iced brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso. Let's try it. Whoa. It tastes like cinnamony. I guess it's the brown sugar. Here, taste it. Do they add cinnamon to this? I like it, but it tastes like fall. It doesn't taste like spring. It's really good. Their new thing now is that they have oat milk. They use the brand Oatly. So interesting to me that they never had oat milk before. So this has espresso, brown sugar, cinnamon, and it's topped with oat milk and ice for a cool lift to power throughout your day. I like it. I think it's good, but it's definitely not like spring and then the next one that we have is the iced chocolate almond milk shaken espresso let's try this typically i'm not a fan of almond milk with coffee i don't know why to me it just like has no flavor so yeah this one's not my favorite this one's very light too tastes like i'm drinking like milky water there's like no coffee flavor in it i'm not a fan i don't like them the oat one is definitely my favorite this funny. that was a disappointment and of course they give us a grande in this one i ordered two talls yeah what do you guys think have you guys tried them yet this one's actually really not bad it's just not spring i would definitely drink this one though on a scale of 1 to 10, what do you rate this, Noah? 8. I would say like an 8. And then this one is one. It's like a negative. It tastes like you're drinking water. Is it not shaken enough, maybe? 
That's horrible. I want to do a video one time where I like ask you guys what your favorite Starbucks drinks are. I'm going to make some oat balls now. Um, if you guys remember, I made a few times the Sammy Clark oat balls. They're really, really good if you're craving like anything sweet during the week and having them at like quick access. But for some reason, the mixture wasn't like blending properly. It was really gross. So I actually found the same kind of recipe with another influencer, Camera Fitness or something like that. And I wanna try hers because it looks much better in terms of the blending of the recipe. day honestly i didn't really do much i feel bad because this vlog is probably so freaking short i was just sitting here thinking why do we always feel the need to make every day exciting i think people especially now with like social media kind of just like all the time in our faces with seeing people's highlight reels basically i feel pressured to do and make every single day exciting and then days like this i almost feel guilty for having them <laughs> like i didn't do anything all day except for watch the challenge and do my nails i don't know why i always feel pressure to like do stuff and i think also my job will make it hard sometimes because i'm like oh my god this is boring content i don't even remember the days where i would just sit in bed all day and like watch tv i have friends and stuff who aren't in social media and sometimes they have days like that like they work nine to fives and and then their Saturdays and Sundays are just so chill. I don't know, I feel like there's like definitely a balance. Like you can't just do comfort all the time. I don't know, I always struggle with not doing anything and kind of just letting days pass. I feel like when I pick up the camera or when I make that intention to film, I'm like, I need to make this content good. But like sometimes my days just go like this where I literally just have a very chill day. Like it's a Sunday, it's the day of rest. That's exactly what I did, you know? I feel like too, a lot of the times people like feel because i'm in this world like my life needs to be glitz and glamour all the time and not glitz and glamour but like exciting all the time but my life is pretty freaking boring <laughs> like honestly i pretty much just work inside all the time i work for myself from my home like i don't really get a change of scenery too much it's usually just me like in my house doing dishes like chilling you don't really see that behind the scenes but like what am i gonna do bring out the camera when i'm just sitting in bed doing nothing like eating crappy food and watching binge watching shows every time i picked up the camera i was like this feels like i'm forcing it you know today was super chill super super chill but i'm not gonna like not put this video out just because of that you know this is real life it's okay sometimes to have days like that it's totally okay and actually completely normal we just don't see that side of people all the time because it's not fun or exciting or good content to put out there you know i will have like a super busy week coming up i'm actually gonna be filming a week in my life and i have a lot of work i will be having like kind of a more busy week i think that's also why i was just like i just need to chill today and do nothing i'm about to be bombarded with work i'm filming a week in my life like i just said i want to film a food diary like what i eat in a week i did a what i eat in a week and my fitness but i think i'm gonna do the week in my life include the fitness and work and kind of stuff like that and then the what i eat in a day will just be food and then the clothing haul i ordered so many clothes last night by the way initially just ordered things off zara but then i just went on this bencher and i was like screw it but i bought more than i need because i don't know my jean size like i said i really need to try clothes on and i think it's just really hard to do that and i need to compare sizes i i always need two to be like do i look better in this is it more comfortable and it's like if i get this size but i don't even try the other size on i'm always thinking would those have been more comfortable would they have fit better you know so i got two sizes of the bottoms and i'll just return whichever ones i don't end up liking i got a whole bunch so we're going to be doing like a full-on clothing haul i have a like sit down video kind of like a manifestation wednesday video that i've been like typing up i'm doing like a skincare video i've been today's actually my last day ordered new skincare when i did my spring cleaning and it's day number 30 so i'm gonna do like a little sit down review of those so yeah lots of video making but again it's gonna be pretty boring it's just me getting ready filming and then working out eating healthy sometimes trying to get some socialization in there and hang out with friends but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up i'll see you guys later i hope you enjoyed the video even though it's so boring love you good night it's suddenly